Hi everyone, I wanted to make this quick video to explain the new design calculator that I've put together here. Uh, this design calculator is a great tool to have for anybody that's looking to start with aquaponics or that has just gotten into a design process or even someone who is, you know, in 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 ways with the design process and just wants to make sure that everything is on track with the numbers so let's get into it the way that I've designed this design calculator is that these tabs with the green buttons or the green uh, highlights are the only values that you would need to input in the system and the rest the calculator is going to calculate by itself and then bring you give you the information or the numbers that you need so for example this one here is a backyard design calculator in here you would have to put your information about your bed width and your bed length so for example if you have a 4x4 four four grow bed that's the number that you would put in here if you're having two grow beds you would put in two if you have more than two or even just one you would put that number in here once you have that information in here the calculator is then going to calculate all the information that you need to kind of design the system for example it's going to give you exactly the amount of water that you're going to need to keep your fish happy the fish tank size that's going to be needed, uh, the fish tank standard available. This is something that you're going to have to look in your local market and see what's available as a standard size. Usually these small ones are available, uh, available in 20, 40, 50 and upwards of that. So you can put in the standard size that you would like to put in, that you would like to use in here. And then the system will give you the number of fish tank that you're going to be required, the sump tank size that's going to be needed and the number of fish that you're going to need to keep this system at an optimal and these numbers are coming from these recommended calculation standards that are um, that are the the fundamentals of the aquaponic design system and these are what I have been using here and the great thing about this tool is that any of these numbers uh, or any of these formulas are given so you can look at the formulas and see exactly where these numbers are being calculated and understand the theory behind it so it's not just the calculator but it's also a learning tool that helps you understand where these numbers are coming from and what the theory behind it is as well okay next the commercial design cal oh by the way before i get into this one uh this one is the entire design package i've also separated these backyard design calculator and a commercial design calculator separately so if you don't want to get the entire package you can you can purchase them separately by themselves and just get this get the information that you need okay so the commercial design calculator pretty much the same as the backyard one but of course uses different numbers so here you would have to put in the width and the length of your greenhouse um, and then the bed width and the bed length the number of deep water grow beds that you are planning to have and the number of media grow beds that you're planning to have the bed width and bed length is the first step to designing a system this is uh, this is pretty much where you would start this is the information that you would need to to have in the beginning to know what kind of system you want to design so this is where you would start these are the numbers that you would put in here and then the calculator will then do its magic crunch all the numbers and then give you the information that you need which is again the water that you're going to need the fish tank size that you're going to need fish tanks that you're going to require depending on the water that the calculator has just calculated the actual fish tank volume depending on adjusting for the number of tanks that you're going to require the number of fish that you're going to need and also the feed per day that you're going to there you're going to have to feed the fish to keep your system at an optimal again it also shows you biological surface area for the fish in the water these are not very critical numbers but for sure from a science perspective and from a functionality perspective they are important and as you look down here and you click on these numbers you will see exactly where they're coming from and what the calculations behind it is it, it, it is as well if you don't know these numbers if you've never heard of biological surface area before do not worry these are not numbers that are good to know but are not extremely critical for you to understand how they function but again in this in this table you're going to see the recommended values for the BSAs and as long as they fall in the recommended values like I've shown up here then everything is good and you know that your your calculator is giving you the numbers that that would be ideal for your uh, design project 
All right, the next thing is a reverse calculator. This is a great tool that I've put in. This tool will help you reverse the calculation. So for example, here you would put in the number of fish and the average weight of the fish that you have in order for you to get the, the total grow area that you can support. So in this tool, you'll be able to play around with the number of fish, the average weight, and see what how much feed are you going to need per day and what area are you going to be able to support with that feed and the amount of fish that you have in your system. And then you can further divide the area supported into rafts. These rafts can, you know, the, the size of these rafts can vary. Here the standard is four by two, and that's the number of, that's the size of the raft. You can also put in here the number of rafts that you would like to support, and then play with these numbers up here to see how many rafts that you can su support, and if you can reach the target that you've set for yourself. So for example, let's say if you have, you know, 70 fish, would that do um, that would that do for your 100 raft target? No, well, you might have to increase a little bit. Um, you can do that, and you can also increase the feed per biomass here. So the more percentage of uh, the percentage of body weight you feed the fish, the more support the more area they'll be able to support in your aquaponic system so these are the different numbers that you can play with to see what you need to do or what you need to play around with in your system to get the target numbers or the target ratios that you want again great tool to have reverse calculation for you to understand how things are working okay heating cost calculator is again a great tool because it gives you the amount of money that you're gonna have to spend on a seasonal basis or even on a seasonal and a monthly basis uh, for heating your greenhouse and again all you have to do is to plug in these numbers in the green highlighted values and then all the num numbers will be given to you here. I've used two very common greenhouse types, the curved roof and the gable roof. And you have to find the dimensions for your greenhouse, specific to your greenhouse, but the, but the image here will guide you um, in finding out the exact dimensions that you would be looking for. Once you find these dimensions, you can just put them here in this green area right here and then the calculator will give you all the numbers all the all the dollar amounts that you need um, that you would spend on a seasonal or a monthly basis oh another thing you would have to find the information for natural gas costs or the different types of fuel costs in your region plug them in here they're very easy to find you can go on to the natural gas providers website and find this information or for electricity go to the electricity provider and find this information for dollar per kilowatt hour put it in here and then you will get all the information that, that you need so it's a very intuitive tool you don't have to do any of the work all you need to find is the basic input information and then once you have that you will get all the dollar values that you would need to plan for your season up ahead so again great tool from from a business perspective as well the power consumption calculator is also another great tool to calculate the amount of money that you're going to be spending on the internal electrical components so here I've divided it in pumps lighting heating the space heating and water heating uh, all the information here is self-explanatory once you put in the amps and the volt value which is very easily uh, you can find it very easily from the label of the product that you're using once you have that information and you put it in here uh, you will get the number that the numbers that you'd be looking for and right here you'd get your electricity cost again putting this information from your electricity provider you're gonna get your per year consumption in dollar value and your per month consumption in dollar value as well so yeah that's it and another thing there are instructions for each single one of these sheets in here in the first sheet so you can go back to this refer back to this and see exactly what you need to do to work with these different sheets here so it's very you know the instructions are provided you can't get lost it's very intuitive it's something that even a kid can do and that was my point designing this is that make it very intuitive so that anyone using these calculators can put in the numbers and basically plug and play and get all the outputs that they would need. So this is about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this um, this video and I hope you get enough value from this to um, to see that this would be a good purchase for you. Great. Have a good one.